On this episode, I'm joined by Bob Forston. Bob was featured in the first Searcher Spotlight article that was published in the Garrett Newsletter in the spring of 2013. He's a member of the Cowtown Treasure Hunters Club and has been active in the organization for many years. Bob has also successfully recovered lost rings for people on numerous occasions. Some of those stories have been covered by local news stations and featured on several websites as well. He's an avid metal detectorist, a skilled coin shooter, and an excellent water hunter. And above all else, he's a good person and a great friend. All right, guys, I am out here today at uh, the lake site where my brother and I have hunted before and I've hunted by myself. I've pulled like three silvers out of here. They were all mercs and I got a small little silver ring, but back here today, it's a really nice day out. It's really quiet, it's pretty still, but I uh, just got my first coin target for the day and it's a weedy. I think it's a 45, I think it's a 45, so. A little bit iffy signal down in the hole, but I dug it because so I thought it could be a coin, and sure enough, it was. So, so weedy on the board with something old. Awesome. Hopefully, I can leave with a silver today, so I'm going to keep on swinging and see what I can come up with. All right, guys, still out here. Um, way over there is where I got that 45 weedy. I just got my next coin. It was actually a nickel signal, and uh, it sounded pretty good, but I didn't expect it to be this. It is a buffalo. My first buffalo that I found out here, so that's cool. I knew there had to be some, but I just couldn't land on them ever. So I know you probably can't see much from that because it's pretty toasted. I don't even know if I'll be able to get a date off of it. I'll try to scrub on it a little bit when I get back home. But anyway, the buffalo nickel, another oldie. Very, very cool. Happy to find that. So uh, I'm going to keep on swinging, see if there's anything else out here. All right, guys, uh, just got my next coin. Looks like it's another Weedy. I think this one's a 1934. Sounded good. Pretty clean, clear coin signal, so. Another Weedy. I got two Weedies now and uh, the Buffalo Nickel, so. Pretty awesome stuff. Let's see what else I can find. All right, everybody, still out here working this beach area. Um, I just got a, another weedy here. I think it's from the teens, I believe. It's hard to tell. I need to scrub on it a little bit, but anyway. Um, shortly before this, Bob, who's hunting with me, oh, with me. Oh yeah, go ahead. Don't be shy. Just dug a really awesome, awesome target. I'll let him get it out of his pouch there. He, he flicked around real quick and looked at me with like this crazy look on his face and don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Let's put it in the light. Let's see, I can't even... There we go. Hopefully you can see that. That is an 1890... 1893 Three, yeah. Barber quarter. So that... that he can leave happy today. He's yeah. got a little bit of... He's got some big silver there, so... Anyway... I had, I had just commented I'm ready for that silver yep and it went three swings before I came up with it. pretty much <laughs> yeah it was like uh, literally like two minutes later and he yeah. just like flips around and looks at me with like this <gasps> to see if I was still there and there it was so anyway it looks like we'll be working this little area for uh, for a while now so uh, if we find any more goodies we'll get back to you Alright, uh, we're headed back to the car and uh, decided to come back through here and swing on the way back. Just got another uh, another wheat penny there. It's pretty toasty. Not sure what the date is. Definitely have to scrub on that one. But anyway, another weedy for the pouch. Maybe we'll uh, turn something else up on the way back. So, we're going to keep swinging. At the end of the day, I went home with four weedies and a buffalo nickel. But after seeing Bob find the barber quarter, I was determined to get back out there soon and find something amazing. One week later, I ventured back out, and I ended up getting a nice surprise. Alright guys, I am out here at the uh, lakeside again today. 
uh, decided to come up into this woods a little bit here further from the water where the water used to be and I just got over there and I got a uh, an old old weedy I know that's what it is but you can't see anything on it it's really really slick but what's really awesome is what I just found I was working my way right through here and uh, I got a uh, solid mid-tone down there in the hole and I've got part of a gold ring looks like it's some sort of class ring it says 1936 on it that is awesome did not expect to find gold out here I think it's 10k man that is so cool hopefully I can find the other piece down in the hole we'll see I'm gonna give it a shot but anyway oh man that's awesome that just made my day right there so uh, I've got a lot of time left so I'm gonna keep going and see if I can pull anything else out of here